the two week old unrefrigerated pie. Dumb ways to die. My latest son is sinking fast. My race is nearly run. If I hear one more son of a bitch say this ain't country, I'ma lose my shit. Don't be a hoarder. Don't be... It has potential. It has potential. It has potential. I'll use it. I know I'll use it. When a city toddler moves to the country... What's up, Zoe? What? You need a bath? Zoe, you're fine. Go be a kid. Go on. Zoe, you're fine. You're fine, Zoe. Okay? See? Look at dirty hands. Dirty hands are okay. Yeah? It's okay to have dirty hands, Zozo. You cannot control me. You can. Okay, okay. You can have a. You can have a little control. But I'm still in charge. I can attack any minute. But you can control for like a second. Oh, that's nice. That's really awesome. Southern word of the day: yardov. Okay, guys. So tell me why me and Jimmy went fishing earlier this morning, and I told him to cast out there by them lily pads. He he cast out there. Man, snagged a gator by the ear. And the gator started fighting him, and Jimmy gave him this number. I oh, mean, he was getting it, boy. And I said, Jimmy, well, you can't be doing that. You can't pull that gator up in this boat. This is just a little 14-foot John boat. You can't do that. Well, what happened? Where's Jimmy? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I gave Jimmy the Sparta 300, and we got to go find him. He's off in the water. Come on. Y'all have done the same thing. Now hurry up. He ain't gonna make it much longer. Have a little love on a little honeymoon. You got a little dish and you got a little spoon. A little bitty house and a little bitty yard. A little bitty dog and a little bitty car. But it's alright to be little. Bro, I don't even drink Folgers. I don't even know how I end up with this. Do they know? Do they know that they're like the national feed scoop? Seriously, I don't even drink it. I don't know how I end up with that. I've seen a lot of TikToks where black people ask white people questions. So now as a white man, I've got a question for black people. A serious question, so if you're not black, keep scrolling. But I gotta know, what kind of food y'all be having at these barbecues? <laughs> and what I gotta do to get invited to one? You invited. I'm tired of going to these cookouts <laughs> where we have poached halibut wrapped in kale. It literally tastes like a hate crime wrapped in gluten-free lettuce wraps stuffed with raisins and i'm tired of having raisins in my potato salad i bet y'all be seasoning y'all's food we do i ain't never had seasoning before all i'm saying is 2021 let me get invited to one come on you can come come on know. tag come on. me i'm in okc let me know Sweet red wine and a pretty legs go to heaven every time. 
The same people that scammed you for the last three years saying that they had your health in their best interest are the same being silent during a chemical disaster. Look in now. Everybody don't deserve to know all of the real you. Let them judge you. Let them beat them gums together till they bleed back yonder behind you now. They only trying to drum up a bunch of bull piss to turn the crowd against you. Cause there's something about you that shines a light on their darkness and they can't stand it. Let them beat them tracks out behind you when you leave out from in there now. Lord have mercy. Most folks ain't nothing but an anchor and a stumbling block for you. Everybody ain't going to the other end of the road with you now. You might as well get your mind set on it. Amen. Lord loves you and I love you. You're one of a kind and most definitely worth it. Don't ever let the world and nobody tell you no different now because it's a lie. Keep your nose buried in that word. Your head picked up on your side of the road and in between the ditches. Come on. That's the kind of stuff you watch from a distance. <laughs> Hell yeah, hon. Get your tits out. Just like everywhere else in the United States. Hey, uh, hold the fuck up. Alright, so he was just like... Hey, man, have you seen... Ew, daddy! Uh, no, Red, I ain't seen the daddy. Fuck you, man. That's fair. I understand that this is going to be a hot take, but I have to say it. In the South... One thing that we really love down here is small talk. We refer to that as Southern hospitality. Just being friendly to people, asking them how their day's been. Well, today, I got shook. I'm talking about shook the up. I had to go sit in this four hour class in a confined space next to this girl. We were there early. We made eye contact, so I introduced myself. She quietly introduced herself. I said, how long you been living in Nashville? Are you originally from here? LA. Oh, do you like living here? The weather kind of sucks. It's taken some getting used to. I said, oh, well, you'll get used to it eventually. It is, it does go in ebbs and flows. How long have you lived here? I go, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm quizzing you right now. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. And then she looks away. I, I, I was honestly, I was dumbfounded. I had, I have never had that kind of interaction with somebody before and then I was like no wonder people are so apprehensive about California folks moving here it's not that we don't like you it's just there are some cultural differences there and one of them is that we don't say goddamn when people are just trying to get to know us holy hell my blood was boiling and listen I lived out in, in Southern California for two years just south of LA okay I get it. Southern hospitality is true blue Southern culture. But if you're going to choose or, or you're going to have to live in the South, maybe let's put our kind panties on when somebody is just trying to get to know you. Found a stick on the ground and now I'm going to use it. All this power that I found, going to totally abuse it. Dude, I hit so much stuff, do not get into my way. Because I found a stick and I'm using it. He said, boys, here comes the show It's about to get western Around here tonight you Better wear your working clothes And pull your hat down tight It's about to get western How mean it might It's about to get western Tell me something, girl Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for?
Well, granddaddy always told me. Now, it takes money to make money. He said, scared money don't make no money. And he said, if it makes money, then well, by golly, boy, it makes sense. He said, so don't be a little bitch and you go spend your money on things that'll make you more money. I said, Grandpa, thanks. He said, thanks, don't fill banks, son. Quit being a bitch. Hey, Alexa, play lip gloss. Let's go. Let's go. Lip gloss by Lil Mama from you Spotify. Bet you bet your ass. Hello? <laughs> My money don't jingle jingle. It moves. Is it? Nope. I'm just joking. Shit. I ain't got no money. Spend all my money on these cows, kids, and fuel. Hey, everybody. It's your favorite Indian, Dougie Hall. If you like what I say today, please use it. And if you don't like it, don't worry about it. Today's society requires us to live by five rules. Rule number one, you can't have anything wrong with you. Rule number two, if you got something wrong with you, pretend you don't. Rule number three, if you can't do that, get over it fast. Rule number four, if you can't do that, pretend you did. Rule number five, if you can't do any of those, just don't show up. I think those rules are a crock of shit and I try to break those rules every time I make a video. There's so many people in today's society that go through life wearing a mask. They get a roof over their head and a hot meal guaranteed because they wear a mask, they kiss ass, and they are really good at following those rules. And when you break those rules, is it risky? Sure. Yeah, it's risky as fuck. It's scary too. <laughs> but when you break those rules, Every meal you get, the roof over your head, and every dollar you make, you get it in an honorable way. You don't have to look over your shoulder or kiss anybody's ass for it. And that, my friends, that's freedom. Love you guys. God bless. Have a great day. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hello. <laughs> what do I do? I what? Wait, sorry. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed, a poor mountaineer, barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food, and up from the ground came a bubbling crew. If you find yourself having a bad day, just remember it could be worse. You could be these guys. They said, is that good? Is that good? What in the chicken will make you think that's good? <laughs> Here's to you, Mr. Lipper Ripper Bass Man. Sure, that large mouth barely weighs 15 ounces, but don't let that stop you from setting the hook like he's Moby Dick. Throw down that hammer like a real man, because if you wanted to play nice, you'd be fishing in a dress. Care to take a walk with me? You go a piece off the main roads, and you turn down a long gravel drive, then you travel across the backside of the 140 acre farm, that's where you'll find me. Good Lord has afforded me the opportunity to raise my family in the backwoods of Kentucky. It's here that we've created a simple life that I am so grateful for. We raise livestock, we eat whatever we grow, and we take care of our land. And in return, our land takes care of us. We unapologetically work hard and play hard. We say thank you and ma'am. We respect our livestock and wildlife. 
We love our country, and we know exactly who our provider is and do our best to thank him for it every day. There's nowhere else on earth that I'd rather be. And now that you know a little about me, I'd love to know a little about you. I am May. Hey, so uh, we, we got a small problem. What do you mean we got a problem? And it's, it's not even lunch yet. I mean, all y'all guys had to do today was dig a trench. I mean, how do you fuck that up? Well, I mean, we, we dug the trench. I mean, like, we, we dug the hole. It's there. But, uh, who, who was in charge of calling the 811 dig number? Well, I called them, and they came out yesterday. They sprayed everything on the ground, and there was nothing near where we were going to dig. Well, did you hit something? Oh, yeah. We definitely hit something. They, they were way off on the fucking survey, son. <laughs> what you looking at? The same goddamn thing you're looking at, Billy Bob. The fucking Soul Snatcher 3000 right there. <laughs> Standard issue. Comes equipped with credit card debt and really bad life decisions. You can also upgrade that package to premium, which comes with I drank 13 white claws and still don't feel anything. And if you want the gold membership, that's going to cost you the house, probably a truck and your favorite bass boat. That comes standard with all men are the same. So I'll say again, Gary, we're all staring at a fucking alpaca hook. That is all. You know the food system is broken when you have to pay more for food that's grown fresh from the earth and pay less for food that's created in a lab. It's all by design. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. You're just as lovely as you used to be. How's your new love? Are you happy? Hope you're doing fine Just to know it means so much to me What's that, darling? How am I doing? I'm doing all right Except I can't sleep I cry all night till dawn What I'm trying to say Is I love you And I mean Like this Luke's a little thirst trapping All the pretty farmers walk like this This, 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 this. Pretty farmers walk like this This, 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 this. Hey, where'd you put my last bolt? Where'd you put the bolt? Show me. I can't find it. Where'd you put it? Is it in here? Yeah. Down that hole. Honey, if chicken and dumplings don't pull at your heartstrings, I just don't know what will. I like to call this round them up chicken and dumplings at our house. Because I'm telling you right now, if I say I'm fixing this, it sure enough rounds them up. Let's get this pot going. We're going to start with one to two pounds of cut up chicken in a pot. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt to that. Now we're going to cover this chicken in about six cups of chicken broth. Now if you don't have chicken broth, use water. It's fine. I'm here to tell you that the broth is better, so there's that. 
set the heat on your stove on medium high. Bring your chicken up to a boil. Once it starts boiling, set a timer for 10 minutes. While that's cooking, let's make dumplings. In a big mixing bowl, you're going to need four cups of all-purpose flour. Now with a fork, get out three big dollops of Crisco and add it to your flour. It's fine. You don't need to measure it. Just three big dollops will do. What I'm going to do is take my fork and I'm going to cut my shortening into my flour. I want my shortening to be evenly distributed throughout my flour, and I'll know that it's ready when it gets real crumbly. Now we're going to slowly add one and three quarter cup of milk. Now you cannot mess this up. Just start kneading it with your hand until you make a dough ball. All we have to do is mix it and add more milk. You don't have to worry about being gentle with it. This is not biscuits. Now we're going to sprinkle the counter with some flour, and this is a great time to get a helper if you have one. Now turn your dough out onto the counter and knead it just a little bit. Sprinkle the top of the dough and your rolling pin with some flour. I'm going to roll my dough out super thin with my rolling pin. Cut it into two pieces if you're having a hard time getting it all rolled out in one spot. Now use a knife or a pizza cutter to cut your dough into one inch squares. The 10 minute timer just went off on our chicken and we're going to add one stick of butter to our chicken. I'm going to turn my heat down on the stove just a smidgen so it's still boiling but not so hard. As soon as that butter melts, I'm going to start plopping in my dumplings. Do not throw them all in there at one time or you're going to have a big gooey mess. Drop them in there where it's boiling. Now try not to stir this, but rather poke it down in there with your spoon. You got to be a little gentle with them. This right here is what I'm going to use to season this. I'm going to add two tablespoons. Feel free to season with whatever you like, plus a little salt and pepper. Now I'm going to pull my heat down to a simmer and I'm going to top it. Let it cook for about 30 minutes and it'll thicken. If you need more liquid, just add a little water. If it needs to be a little thicker, add a little flour. Pair it with a skillet of buttermilk biscuits and... Enjoy, my friends, and I'll see you next time if the Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. If any of y'all thinking about moving down south, <clears throat> I'm finna tell you all you need to know. It's 70 degrees today. Last week, it was 10. Yeah, it might be colder up north. Y'all getting snow, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. If you ain't ready to go to breakfast at Waffle House and flip-flops, then come home, leave your faucet dripping so your pipes don't freeze over, you ain't ready for the South. We, we went through all four seasons in the last two weeks twice, <laughs> including a tornado that went through Jimmy and Wileen's trailer park. On the other hand, summer's very predictable. It's either hot or it's raining, or it's hot and it's raining. <coughs> so if you can handle our weather and you can handle the fact that in the spring, everything you own is going to be covered in yellow pine pollen, and you can handle an inappropriate tube top on a big lady in Walmart, <coughs> y'all come on. <coughs>
what if when you woke up this morning, all you had were the things that you thanked God for yesterday? Another second sooner to a blessing I won't take But my therapist will tell me that I'm going through a stage Yeah, it's not a fucking stage I just wanna feel okay Okay, motherfucker, now you got my attention Babe What? Remember when I recorded you? Which fucking time? Yesterday You were like cooking dinner Yes Burgers Yes This guy wants to know Wow how scared do you have to be to walk around the inside of your own home? Wit. Wit. There's an H in there. Wit. Wit. Yeah. To put in an H before the W. Mm. With a gun. So how why? Why do you have a gun? How scared? Well, sir, or ma'am, I don't know, it's 2023, I shouldn't assume your gender and shit. But, uh, I work in law enforcement, which means... Um, I go to outlier scenarios a lot that are the exception and not the rule. I have been called to situations for home invasions. I've been called to situations for people that are thwacked out on meth or PCP that just randomly went into somebody's house. I've been called to situations where somebody that's schizophrenic and having a manic episode has stormed into somebody's house. But while I understand that the odds of those happening to someone are slim to none, I'd rather have it and not need it, then need it and not have it, should that arise. It's not about being scared. It's about being ready. I said a prayer when it's something like this. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food. Thank you for my mama. Thank you for the roof on over my head. Four times world's strongest man, champion, and proud American, Brian Shaw was very disheartened and seemingly repulsed after a recent comment by the iconic Arnold Schwarzenegger, which didn't sit well with many. And not just to think about, well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. Guys, as many of you know, I am a proud American. I train with an American flag on the wall of my gym, and I'm also a big believer in freedom. Now, Arnold has made some comments recently, and he is free to say whatever he wants to say, but when you say something like, screw your freedom, it doesn't sit well with me, and I know it doesn't sit well with a lot of other Americans out there, and therefore, I will no longer be training with a poster of Arnold on the wall of my gym. It's time for it to come down. Military town. See if you can keep up. Left feet. Right feet. Right feet. About face. About face. Left feet. Breezy arms. Or arms. Parade breath. Group of team. Jump. I'll follow you into the park through the jungle people Gotta never love one like you Bows and bows and And if I'm being honest, your first and my last name Would just sound better together 
And probably always will Like a cup of coffee and a sunrise Sunday drives and time to kill What's the point of this own guitar If it ain't got no strings There goes my heart beating And you are the reason I'm losing sleep Please come back now There goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what I've broken Oh, cause I Oh 